Our next uh, inductee is uh, Michael Flockman, and um, the uh, nominator was uh, in some case, so he can be. Well, thank you, everyone. <clears throat> it's really my honor and privilege to be able to induct my friend, my colleague, a true Renaissance man named Michael Flockman into this inductory, introductory Hall of Fame class. Michael was a professor of English, he was a director of the Hawk Honors Program, and he served this school with distinction from September 1972 until his untimely death in August of 2013. He really was a Renaissance man, he was a smart guy. He managed to get a PhD in English literature from the University of Chicago, you slackers. <laughs> <laughs> He came here in 1972, and as far as I can tell, he just basically never stopped working. He published over 20 books, including Beware the Cat, the first English novel, which is published by the prestigious Huntington Library Press, and the Prose Reader, Essays for Thinking, Reading, and Writing, which he wrote with his wife, Kim Flockman, who is here today with us. Kim, would you please stand? Let's acknowledge Kim. Michael was also the father of Chris and Laura, and he didn't like to brag about them, but he kind of liked to brag about them, just a little bit. <laughs> the Prose Reader, by the way, was in its 10th edition at the time of Michael's death, and literally is one of the best known and widely adopted textbooks of its kind, not just contemporarily, but really in the history of the United States. It's an incredible book. He's also the author of over 100, of over 100 articles in eminent journals across the world, including Shakespeare Quarterly Studies in English Literature, Theater Journal, Medieval and Renaissance Studies, and Studies in Philology. As a teacher, he really was a Renaissance man. He taught an incredibly wide variety of courses, many of them focused on Shakespeare and Renaissance drama. As many of you know, we recently moved out of Faculty Towers. I don't have a whole lot of great memories of Faculty Towers, but one really fine memory is walking out of my office one day, and Michael was holding class, and the students were up on the balcony reading a Shakespeare play. He was that kind of a teacher. He also worked for many, many years in professional theater, serving as the dramaturge for over 80 productions at such prominent West Coast theaters as the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, the Hoya Playhouse, the Kern Shakespeare Festival, and the Utah Shakespeare Festival where he served as the company dramaturge from 1986 until 2013. He was also the founder and director of Camp Shakespeare at the Utah Shakespeare Festival, which he ran personally from 1988 to his death. He also gave numerous presentations and workshops on Shakespeare, and he was that kind of a guy. He had a little free time at the Utah Shakespeare Festival. Let's give a, a little seminar. He was really incredible. He was also, as many of you know, the founder and director of the Hawk Honors Program, a position which required him to be very active in recruiting students from local high schools, to select and schedule faculty to teach in the program, to chair the Honors Council, and to arrange social and educational events for the more than 300 students who were enrolled in the program. And you could tell he had a great connection with the students because they all just called him Flockman. <laughs> he was also responsible for securing financial support for the program and he was the primary reason why CSUB received a $1 million grant from local philanthropist Helen Hawks, which really transformed the program and turned it into this stellar program that we have on campus today. In 1983, Michael was selected outstanding professor for the entire then 21 campus California State University system. In 1995, he was named U.S. Professor of the Year by the Carnegie Foundation and the Council for the Advancement of Support of Education in Washington, D.C. And in 1999, he was given a $20,000 Wong Family Excellence Award for outstanding undergraduate teaching in the CSU system. And I actually have the original brochure with me today. <laughs> I received his award. It's very valuable, so I put it in bubble wrap. Other awards included the Phi Delta Theta Fraternity, National Distinguished Alumnus Award, the CSUB Faculty Research Award, and the CSUB Faculty Service Award in 2002. He was also a member of Phi Beta Kappa. 
His other passion, as many people know, was judo, a sport in which he was a fourth degree black belt, so I didn't mess with the guy. He was also an avid tennis player and served as a volunteer assistant coach for the women's tennis team for many years. At his memorial service, I think one of his students, Brian Citizens, put it best. He made me a better writer, a better thinker, a better researcher, a better actor, a better human being. His classes were always so vibrant, so full of energy and excitement. Anyone who ever had the joy and honor of taking a class from Dr. Blockman knows how much time and energy he put into his teaching. I learned lessons that have stayed with me for 20 years. In fact, I've kept every essay and paper I ever wrote in his classes, mostly because of the feedback he offered. Always supportive, most times constructive, and often brilliantly funny. Sadly, Michael passed away on August 8, 2013, so he isn't here to witness the event, but I'm pretty sure if he were here, he would have a sly, self-deprecating grin on his face and would be enjoying this immensely. So I'll just end on two notes. One, I think Michael would be very, very pleased to know that I borrowed a pen from Provost Zorn so I could modify my script, and then I completely ignored most of it. <laughs> and finally, well, I shouldn't say it makes me happy, but it makes me happy to think that Michael was actually at the Utah Shakespeare Festival, was actually running Camp Shakespeare at the time of his passing. So he ended his life doing what he did for the 30 years that he spent here, working with students and contributing to their lives. And so that's the way I thought I was going to remember my friend. <laughs> Kim, could you come up, please? And any other members of 